Reflect on your use of these tools. Why would I use it? Why would I not use it? For these students, their first year writing class includes something they never saw coming for their freshman year. This is like the first time it's been allowed. I thought that he'd just be like one of the teachers who was like, don't use AI. I thought it was very taboo at first. Seattle Pacific University professor Trainer Hansen says for the first time, he's encouraging his students to use generative AI in their work but with caution. If you're just like saying to the tool, write this paper for me and I'm not gonna cite it and I'm gonna just like let it be, it's either plagiarism or impersonation. He wants his students to experiment with AI, using it to research sources, brainstorm ideas if writer's block hits, or to review their work. One of my group mates when we were doing group work, he was like, oh yeah, I did actually use AI, but he was too scared to like admit to it in front of the class. First year, Sophie Kim says this is new territory. She says in high school, teachers were suspicious of students using AI to cheat. Everyone felt like a suspect. I wish I finished high school without AI because <laughs> I feel like teachers don't really trust their students anymore. That's something Hansen wants to change, moving the conversation away from cheating to using it as a tool. Generative AI is a new issue that we're dealing with, but that new issue exposes light on long-standing anxieties that we have about student writing and student work. Hansen says he's being transparent with his own use of AI. He tells students whenever he uses it to create a presentation or an assignment. We need to start focusing our attention on what it means to use it well, how we're helping our students to use it well, how we as faculty are responding to these tools. And responding instead of reacting to AI, Hansen says, will help the professor-student connection. The policies need to start from a perspective of not doing harm to students and not doing harm to the relationship that faculty have with students. I think integrating AI into coursework would be more beneficial to students. AI is scary, and but is, it is a great thing. It's really interesting to know that we can use it reliably and cautiously instead of just steering away from it completely. Savannah Welch, King 5 News.